life changing. Life changing. Life changing. It changes your life. This has changed my life. It definitely changed my entire outlook on life and everything. Like it sounds cliche, but it really does. Like it changes your life in one way or another. I had never been out of the country before, so it was uh, really going to be, a, I thought, a fun experience. And, and I was kind of nervous, too. I had no really idea what to expect. It was a, a long, long flight, you know, the longest flight I ever took. I don't think any of us slept one wink. We were just sitting there like, okay, are we there yet? Just like getting off the plane and being over in Ethiopia, it was like shell shocking. Once we got into the van and started driving in, that's when kind of the poverty hit and we were just looking out the window in silence like, wow, this is a lot different from America. I mean, the everyday things we take for granted, like people over there don't have it. People have to struggle to survive each day. You know, the, the biggest challenge was just putting away the sadness and just continuing to serve. We went to this small village, put some wrap around the house so the rain wouldn't come in. Then we were just swarmed with children that just wanted to play. It was like our first like real interaction with the people there. And they're like so happy. We visited a village. It's pretty much where the outcasts of the city go. And a lot of these people are suffering from leprosy. The fact that we would touch them, you know, to some people they're seen as unclean. And to them, being there and spending time with them and, and doing what we were able to do was pretty incredible. One woman, she said, it's not about what you give us, it's that you came. It's that you cared enough just to be here, and that means the world to us. And hearing that was like, whoa. I expected to see a lot of despair. I came to find quite the opposite. I was just overwhelmed with how truly joyful they were, and it was, it was contagious. They're so kind, so happy, just genuinely care about like people. You would never know like what they're going through or that they go to get their food from a dump. I find myself with basketball especially just complaining about the littlest things. I have to wake up at seven and run and we go over there and they literally have nothing at all, but they were definitely the most joyful people I've ever been around. It's so amazing to see the, the dynamic of people who aren't in possession of so many material things and how joyous and how full their hearts are with love. People of Ethiopia definitely were um, beautiful and hopeful in a way that I had never seen before. It kind of ch changes the way you think, like my career and future opportunities have kind of changed because of this trip. I think that's the case for a lot of people. You know, if everything works out in the film and stuff like that, you know, I feel like I will, I'll, be, I'll be more of a, a giving person and before I was just more concerned about I mean, I mean, everybody's, everybody likes to buy nice stuff, and don't get me wrong, but you know, I feel like helping people that don't have much, I feel like that would be more impactful than having nice shoes and clothes. It's made me want to travel a lot more to help people, so I would love to be able to go back or um, go somewhere else and just like help people to achieve what they want in life. I would definitely like to go over there somewhere in Africa at least. Maybe. If that would be a career or something like that, that would be awesome. We've been given a great opportunity and, you know, our school paid for and it's the least we can do, you know, is to give back a little bit. We're given such a platform, so we need to be able to give back and use what we have to impact others' lives. I think it's really important for people to see that there's so much more to being a student athlete and there's so much more about being at the University of Kentucky. This university is based off a lot of character, you know, and um, there's a lot, of, a lot of moral values that the university is based off of, and, you know, they stress those values in athletics as well. You know. Mitch Barnhart is, uh, you know, he's all about giving back. Just the fact that he wants to do it. He, he doesn't have to do this, but that he wants to do it. And Jason Schlaffer went with us. He kind of, like, led the charge on this whole trip. I think that it shows that we value that. Like, they want to help grow athletes that care about others. I think it's incredible to see that a place that is so, that should be so centered around like winning, 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 is also so centered around like developing the person and developing our athletes into good people. Making sure that once we're finished competing, we're prepared to do more and to be more. And it just really shows how invested they are in us outside of 
the realm of athletics. I mean, I think that really says a lot about the priorities at this institution, and that's one of the reasons why I'm so proud to be an athlete here. It's been a privilege to play for a university like that. But I just want to thank everyone that was involved and really encourage them to continue to do it because if it can change one other person's life like it did mine, it was completely worth it. This is something that I'll remember for the rest of my life, and I think the others can say that too. So just thank you.